There's just something about the sound of blues on vinyl. Muddy Waters, Buddy Guy, Billy Branch, Chicago's blues scene still unrivaled, but shrinking. So where do we go from here? To get that answer, I had to go straight to the legends. <laughs> He's one of the few that can turn a record store into a Chicago blues jam. I'm the hoochie coochie man, do you know I'm here? Billy Branch has played with some of the best. Coco Taylor, uh, Junior Wells. I was Willie Dixon's harmonica player. The three-time Grammy nominee knows when a hit is at his fingertips. Mm -hmm. What else we have over here? So when the needle drops, He says you can't just talk about it. You've got to sing it, play it, feel it, and fight to keep it alive. I hear the crackling. It's coming. Oh, yeah. That's the cut. That's the cut. That's, that's the jam. It takes me back to the beginning. As African Americans from the South migrated to Chicago, they brought blues music with them. Who do, lady? How do you do? Memphis Minnie, Tampa Red, and Big Bill Brunzi were some of the first in the 20s and 30s. Then came the one many call the king, Muddy Waters. Along with greats like Coco Taylor, Howlin' Wolf, and Willie Dixon. Turning to electric guitars and harmonicas to create what we know as Chicago modern blues. The music changed and reflected the sounds of the city and it was loud and you, to be heard. And they were all characters. Including this one. Are you dead right? I got the blues. And I still have to go crazy sometime now. You know, at like, 85, Buddy yeah. Guy still plays from his soul. But at his blues club, in his downtime, you would consider Still yourself is. shy? Still is. Still. To a certain extent until I get a shot of cognac. Yeah. That'll do it. <laughs> well, it helps. Buddy remembers when dozens of Chicago clubs were filled with black musicians and fans. That evolved when the British took notice. He inspired Eric Clapton, Jimi Hendrix. They brought up these four guys and lined them up against the wall. And it was the Rolling Stone watching me. And they got their name from Muddy Waters. White Americans started filling the clubs as Chicago blues got even bigger. Now Buddy is one of the few surviving connections to that era. Chicago just lost three giants, brothers Sill and Jimmy Johnson and Sam Lay in 2022. Buddy worries they will all be forgotten. That crosses my mind day and night. So he's working with a local radio station to keep the original hits in rotation. And he's not alone. The minute a, a Chicago-based blues band hits the downbeat, man, you know, it's, it's on. Ivy Ford in her 20s and multiracial feels right at home in Chicago blues. Her first big gig, Buddy's Club. He goes, oh, you're opening up for Buddy. I said, guy? Whoo, wow, you know. That was also the first time evening shows open to fans under 21. Artists that are, you know, in, in my generation now and generations to come, they'll pass the torch. Spirit. In the darkness. Probably one of the greatest moments was seeing Buddy Guy when I was 10 years old. Then at 22, Joanna Connor left her East Coast home for Chicago. The soulfulness and the beauty of it, I just was like, I have to be here. She's played with Buddy and other greats and is a long standing headliner at the iconic Kingston Mines Blues Club. Say you heard. It's, it's not going to die. <laughs> When Billy Branch isn't playing, he's in classrooms with his Blues in Schools program. He travels the world teaching thousands of children. These kids are uh, singing at the top of their, with all their, their might and fervor. Uh, I got my mojo working. Play that song. Got my mojo working, but just don't worry on you. That's Chandra Cooper's favorite song. And one of her great grandfather, Muddy Waters' biggest hits. He raised her in this Bronzeville house. His nickname and his name to me um, was Daddy. 
and in return, he used to call me Peaches. He let his fellow blues musicians crash and play here. And I always say, if these walls could talk in the basement of that house. Cooper is about to start a major rehab to turn it into a museum. We just got awarded a $250,000 adopted landmark grant from the city of Chicago. Another iconic site, the Willie Dixon Blues Heaven Foundation, where chess records cranked out hundreds of hits. Blues, rooted in Chicago's black history, a sound and story like no other. It's the only music you can say, I got, you can't say, I got the, how you feeling? I got the jazz today. <laughs> what the heck are you talking about? And when you perform like this, it's got to live on. But I hear, it's still packed in here. They come out to see you, buddy. Oh yeah, I said yeah. it out. You're damn right I got the blues. Oh, so as you can imagine, sitting down with all these musicians, the incredible stories they have. Brad Buddy was telling me how he used to jump off the bar, and one time he did it, broke both of his ankles. He was still playing as they took him out on the stretcher to the ER. I mean, Erica, <laughs> that's an incredible yarn. And it's late, but it almost makes me feel like I got my mojo working. I know. It's know? time to head to the club. Yeah, great story. After the show. Yeah, great story. Thank you. Well, join us this this actually tomorrow at 6 30 p.m. for a special presentation honoring Black History Month. We celebrate history makers of the past and those making history today.